guys, the van has another coolant leak. Hi guys, well, I'm still over here at Ron's house, hanging out, excuse the background noise, we've got a generator going, cause well, right now Ron's off the grid, <laughs> and uh, happens quite often around here when the power goes out, so um, yeah, we've got the 10K generator going. Um, yeah, the van has a coolant leak, a pretty small one, but enough to where, um, well, I shouldn't be driving it. Um, we're not quite sure if it's coming from the radiator or what, so um, I've been borrowing Ron's little Subaru that he owns and um, just been driving that to work and just leaving my van here at his house. Seeing as how I've been staying here anyway, it's no big deal. Um, I'm just not driving back and forth to work in my van. Um, yeah, stuff just happens, you know, you guys. Um, you plan things and you get out on the road and just, it's just things just happen. You just don't know basically what what's gonna come around the corner um yeah a lot of unexpected stuff is has been happening this whole entire year um hopefully 2021 is gonna be a lot better than 2020 uh, if you guys watched my uh new year's video from 2020 i was very optimistic i was thinking it was going to be actually a really good year for a lot of folks and for me it pretty what pretty much was i mean i basically um got paid and worked a lot less than what I got paid for. Uh, I got a lot of time off. I got a lot of vacation and still got paid for it. Um, my YouTube channel has started to grow and take off. Uh, so, and I've met a lot of cool new people. So for me, 2020 was pretty um, awesome. Um, it was weird, but it was, it was pretty good for me. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking that 2021 is going to be no exception. So, um, yeah, I think it's going to be the same way. I just, it's just going to be different. Uh, and we're just all going to have to um, basically figure out, you know, our attitude strategy on that. Um, and what I mean by that is it's like, okay, so if crappy things happen, there might be a good reason for it. You know, just have a positive spin on things. And I think you might, you know, feel better and things are going to turn out better. Um, I'm not even really worried about the van. Uh, I know it's in good hands. I know that Ron's going to take good care of it, and it's, you know, it is what it is. You know, whatever it costs, that's what, you know, I'll pay for or whatever. But, um, yeah, it's just how things go. And we've been hanging out here and having a good time. It's really good to uh, hang out with somebody and just, um, you know, be around another person. Um, especially the one thing about 2020 that was kind of sad was, other than being at work, I pretty much was alone because everybody was self-isolating, including myself. And I was going even further out in the woods than I than I have been lately, um, just so I could stay away from people. And you know, I don't really get lonesome, but at the same time, you know, people do need to be hanging out with other people, and it does feel good to have social interaction and things like that. So, yeah, it's a, a really awesome thing. And um, yeah, I just. Um, I thought I would just take this opportunity to just give you guys a little update and uh, everything. And uh, yeah, I still look like Bozo the Clown. Um, we're probably going to trim a little bit more off of my hair tonight if we have time. Because uh, we had to take a break because my scalp is pretty sore. We didn't want to do it all at once because it was just too much for me um, as it was. Even though it was a seven minute video for you guys, it was like a three and a half hour ordeal for me. Um, so yeah, I just had to take a break from it and hopefully, you know, he can, um, even it out a little bit. We went around town today and looked to see if there were any beauty parlors open. And of course there's not, um, cause I was just going to have somebody professional do it. But, uh, yeah, there was nobody around town open. And the one person that I, I, you know, the one place I did, find on the internet that possibly could have been opened I called them and I had to leave a message and of course they didn't call me back because they're probably swamped because they're probably one of the few places in town that's like dared to be open um, 
in California and most places here on the West Coast, I don't know about the rest of the United States, but they still have like a lot of businesses shut down, especially stuff like salons. So I probably, you know, was barking up the wrong tree on that, but I figured if, you know, it would be, probably be worth it to give it a try. Um, so yeah, Ron and I are just going to do the best we can to see if we can just, you know, make my hair look less like be Beetlejuice or something like that. I do like it spiky. I do want it kind of sticking up, but um, I don't think that it needs to have like extra weird long stuff and things like that. So yeah, and it's just not wanting to lay down quite right right over here. So we'll see. We'll see what we can come up with and um, I'll show it to you guys next time I see you. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know that things are still doing pretty good for me um, other than the van having, you know, the radiator issue. Um, but we do think it's either a hose or it's coming from uh, the seam, like the seam around uh, the weld around the radiator. So we'll see. Um, but like I said, other than that, I mean, everything's doing really well. I'm having a good time hanging out up here with Ron and... Um, you know, just going to work and doing everything I have to do at work. And uh, it's really fun to go around town and see my friends that haven't seen me since I cut my hair and the re reaction, like the look on their face just is uh, priceless. Uh, if I could carry my camera around and, and like, you know, show you guys, you know, some of the reactions I've, I've gotten, um, it would be probably really good video but I just I'm I'm too shy and I'm a too nice of a person to do that to people I'm not gonna like go into my local butcher shop and stick the camera in, in my friend's face and go oh yeah yeah look at like I cut my hair yeah right so <laughs> I'm not gonna be doing that but yeah it's just it's just it's been really a, a good positive experience and um, yes my neck and my shoulders and my scalp and um, every hair on my head is sore um, not as bad as it was a couple days ago but it's pretty sore um, I expect to have it for any, anywhere from a month to a few months because last time I cut my hair off it was like that it took a long time for it to not hurt anymore so yeah it's it's just all good so we'll, we'll see but yeah I just wanted to like touch bases with you guys and say hi and tell you guys all about the van so <laughs> But anyway, uh, um, and I'll try to keep making videos for you guys. We'll see. And uh, like I said, I've been kind of having um, issues uploading, but that's all right. Um, we'll get there. And every YouTube channel has their uh, struggles and things like that. And there's some stuff that I want to talk to you guys about, um, but I will put that in another video because I just wanted this one to be about my van and a little bit about, you know, what's going on with me. So. All right, you guys, I will uh, let you go. Uh, thank you so much for uh, hanging out and watching me, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. All right, guys, bye.